Welcome back and welcome to another Readathon TBR video. Uh, this weekend is the Dewey's 24 hour Readathon. Um, I have taken part in this readathon multiple times before. It's one of my favourite readathons because it's so intense, it's just in 24 hours and you have to try and stay up through the night and read, which is amazing. Um, I will leave a link in the description below to the website where you can find out more information about this readathon and also my sign up blog post which will give you some more links to other things including where this readathon starts in your time zone because it's not like other readathons where it starts at midnight wherever you you are this one starts so that everyone in the world is reading at the same point so it's interesting for me because previously in the UK the readathon always started at 1 p.m. and finished at 1 p.m. which meant that you know I could have my lunch and then start reading and then read into the night and then have a couple of hours sleep get up and kind of finish off reading until lunchtime again whereas now because I am on mountain time um, the readathon actually starts at 6am for me, so I'm going to have to get up a little bit early. I'm going to have to get up, get myself a coffee, start reading. However, I think that there might be a better chance of me staying up and reading through the night on this one because I can get to 6am and then fall asleep, whereas before I would always get to kind of 3, 4 in the morning and kind of uh, flake out for a little bit and maybe get back up at 6, whereas I think that I might be able to make it through to the finish line. We'll see. Um, I'm excited that it's a bit different for me this time. So because it's just a 24 hour readathon, obviously the TBR isn't going to be too ambitious. However, as you know, I like to have a nice selection of books to pick from in any TBR that I do. So the first book that I know I will definitely read some of is The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon. Get it so it's not too shiny there. Got too much light today clearly. Um, I am doing a buddy read of this one with Elizabeth Kennedy on Twitter. I will link her Twitter username below and we are reading 50 pages of this a day. So obviously this goes over two days so I know that I will read a hundred pages of this book. Then another physical book which I would like to read um, is one of the final things remaining on my April TBR that I haven't read yet um, and being a contemporary YA I think it's going to be a good pick for the readathon and that is Wing Jones by Catherine Webber. Um, I love the fact that right now my nail varnish matches the sprayed edges on this one, it's so beautiful. Um, I have been really, really wanting to read this one, popped it on my April TBR, haven't got round to it yet, so I'm going to save it for the weekend and really sit down and get into it. As I say, being a contemporary should be a nice quick read, so hopefully we'll get that one read during the readathon. Then one that I don't have a physical copy of is Noteworthy Worthy by Riley Redgate. Uh, it was the second book by that author. She wrote seven reasons we lie um or seven ways we lie seven ways we lie get that wrong um i loved that book uh so i'm looking forward to reading noteworthy noteworthy comes out in the states on the 2nd of may and i think it comes out in the uk on the 4th of may um but i will leave a link to that below so you can see when it comes out in the uk versus the us again it's a contemporary YA novel, so I'm hoping that it'll be a nice quick read. Um, and I have a, a copy of that one from NetGalley on my Kindle, so I will be reading that one as an ebook. And I always like to have an audiobook to listen to during the readathon, just because you're doing reading for 24 hours, your eyes are going to get tired, you're on social media as well a lot during this readathon. It's a great way to interact with other people doing the readathon, find new Twitter friends, post things on Instagram, Snapchat away what snacks and coffees you're having. Um, and so I like to have an audiobook on the go as well in case I have to travel anywhere or in case I have to do any cooking. However, I cannot decide what audiobook I would like to listen to during this readathon. So, in terms of adding an audiobook, there will be an audiobook on my TBR, but I'm not sure which one it is yet, and I just can't decide. So, I'm just putting an audiobook general as the kind of fourth thing on my TBR. 
so there we have it um as i say i will leave links to all those things down below so you can find out more about the readathon do leave me a comment below if you are going to be taking part in the readathon it's as i say it's one of my favorite readathons it's a great atmosphere on social media when people are all reading in the middle of the night wherever they are um and yes i will have another video for you soon if you enjoyed this one please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos about all things bookish from me thanks for watching bye